Hello, this is just a little video to show you how to set homeworks in Teams. You can see I'm in my Teams home screen here. I've got all my uh, Teams that I'm a member of showing here. Now you might notice I've got nice little icons on each of mine. Uh, they don't start out like this. You have to go and click on this little, these three little epsilons, top right hand, and go to Edit Team. That should pull up a little pop-up window which gives you a choice of icons to select and there's also a, an upload button if you don't like any of the suggestions. It's a good idea to do that when uh, a student looks at his assignment screen. Uh, they'll get all the, all the assignments listed one after the other and the icons will help them work out which homework is which. I'm going to drill down into my year 10 team here. Now I start off in the conversation thread. Uh, you can see that I'm using it to share information with my group uh, if there's interesting videos or links that I want to share with the class I can put them in here okay moving into the assignments tab you can see I've got uh, one assigned tab uh, one assigned homework going on at the moment and if I open up my graded ones you can see I've got a few more in there from from previously that are all kind of finished uh, I'm gonna click on create to create a new homework uh, now you have a choice, you can either make a quiz which will uh, ask you to import uh, Microsoft Forms uh, or you can create one from an existing assignment. So if you made one previously, you can use that as a kind of a template for pre making your next uh, assignment or you can start one from scratch, which is what I'm going to do here. Now you're welcome to uh, use Teams to set your homeworks for all of your classes this year if you want to. But the expectation this year is that you should do it for your Year 7 class. So if you like doing it with your Year 7 class and you want to try it with other groups as well, please go ahead. But uh, just make sure that this year you are setting it for Year 7. Uh, year 7, none of them are going to have an organiser this year because it's an expectation that they join the iPad scheme. Uh, so having an iPad is a requirement as long, along with having their PE kit and a red pen. They have to have their iPad with them in school. They won't have a planner, so uh, we need to make sure that we're entering their homework for them. For this class, I'm going to set them a task of creating a knowledge organiser. Okay, now you can do all sorts of things with this. You can set points, uh, so how many marks you're going to mark it out of. You can assign it to multiple classes by clicking here. I've just got it signed, assigned to my te year 10s for now. Uh, you can assign it by default to all students or select some students to send it to and then you can set a due date. I normally give them a week to do it, so I'm going to give them a week to, to make this revision card. Okay, so that's that. We can also attach resources to it as well, but that's not an expectation this year, but you're welcome to experiment with attaching resources. Uh, you can even get teams to uh, distribute your homework for you, get them to work within Teams and send the resources back to you and you can have it marked. But again, these are just uh, things you can do with Teams. The expectation is that you set the homework this year. So just getting the instructions in is what is required. Anything extra is for you to, to choose to do or not do. Okay, so I think I'm done on that task. So I'm gonna click Assign. Now that then goes into my list of assignments. It'll also be popped into the, each of my students' assignments. You can see I just got a little pop-up 